About four and a half months ago, I fled the Russian invasion of Ukraine and came here to the safety of Budapest, the capital of Hungary. But I'm now back in this city and going to attempt to return to Ukraine. I'm going to see how life is progressing in some of the places we've been before since the Russian invasion. Join me now as we head to Europe's front lines. Well, check out flipping Hungarian Budapest railway station. Or as they say in Hungarian, Keleti Paljaudvar. What a flipping place. And check up there, there's a statue or two statues of Englishmen. Up there is Stevenson and up there is Mr. Watt. A couple of Brits who built the railways. Let me just say as we start our journey, thank God I don't have to ask somebody where the customer service is, because customer service in Hungarian is... Ugi fel Scholz Galat. It's a bit of a mouthful is the old Hungarian language. Anyway, let's look for our train. Or, just in case, one more, if you want to leave some luggage, you can come here to Chomagmegorzo. Correct? Morzebit. <laughs> there we go, not our first Ukrainian. Anyway, enough of that. Let's look at the board and see where our train is. What platform? Oh, that's an easy one. Buffet is buffet. Meggy, mega L. Meg. Meg L. No Meggy. Meg. Kosanam. Sivasham. Sivasham. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. See ya. Okay. See ya. In honor of Johnny Depp and his victory over that nutter, Amber Heard, I'm having not a mega pint, but a mega ale. I'm going to drink on the train and toast everyone who's been done over by a nutter in the past. But check out all the exciting names you can travel to from this Budapest railway station. Look at the names. You can go to Godola or Iga or Sholmok. You can also go to Brasov. Now, Brasov is now a, a town in Romania. However, before, like many of these other towns that now lie outside the border of Hungary, it was a Hungarian town. Hungary was divided at the Treaty of Trianon, unfair treaty, and a huge Hungarian empire was shrunk to what it remains today. Just a small country in Eastern Europe. Anyway, let's go. Hello. Ukrainian? Yes. Damoy? Yes. Da? Karasho, da. Dachi. There we've got some Ukrainians going home, you see? So maybe life is slightly, slightly, starting to return somewhat to normality, at least in parts of Ukraine. We will find out when we cross the border. This must be our train. A little bit too posh, but it's okay. Now, flipping Hungarian railway tickets aren't the easiest to read, and that's because they're in Hungarian. But it says on my ticket that I am Coxie 22. I presume Coxie means flipping coupe, whatever you call them, carriage. So um, let's look for old Coxie 22. We have found Coxie 22. <laughs> Well, I found my seat and placed my bag in old Coxie 22. And now we begin our journey eastwards towards Ukraine. Now I said in the beginning of the video that I'm going to attempt to get into Ukraine. I say attempt because it's not guaranteed. And that is because, well, since the war started, I have visited Russia. I have many Russian visas and stamps in my passport. And so um, at, a tight, at a time, I should say, of heightened tensions, obviously, I don't know how the border guards are going to look upon those stamps in my passport. So um, they might think I'm a spy. Let's see what happens. Let's head towards Ukraine. I 
I said the word Kosanam um, with such authority that everyone around me started thinking I was a Hungarian. The lady behind me started talking to me in Hungarian, thinking I was a local. That's how good my Hungarian accent is. Kosanam. So they're talking to me again, exactly. tell you how excited I am at the possibility of traveling among the Ukrainian people once again. Such a warm, hospitable, such an open nationality of people, which is what makes this whole bloody war so tragic that it's happening in a land of um, yeah, very genuine, good people, the Ukrainians. So I'm looking forward to meeting them again and uh, hearing some stories. part of the journey is almost over. We've come to a town that I can't pronounce the name of in the middle of nowhere, but we've got a 10 minute wait before we're going to get the next train to Zahomi on the border. Oh yes, bravo, bravo, you're welcome. You okay? Thank you. Okay, you're welcome, you okay? Okay, you're welcome. Right. Yes, yes, yes. Check out the old Hungarian communist train that's going to take us to the border town of Zahoni. I like it. This is more like it. The adventure's starting. We're back in Soviet lands. And this train looks like a proper train. No air conditioning, just open windows. How it should be. Proper adventures. Zahoni. Here we go, off to old Zahoni. in Zahoni after four months. Hello, Hello again. <laughs> ah, what lovely Hungarian babushkas they have here. Well, last time I came to Zahoni, it was full of UNHCR people and refugees everywhere and tables with food. Now, with the war already four months old, things are a little bit different. It's a little bit quieter here. Hello. One ticket to shop, please. Super. Kosanam. Right, we got a ticket. Now let's try and get over the border. I don't know how much this I can film, but next time I speak to you, I'll either be back in Hungary or in Ukraine. Benjamin. Benjamin, that's me. Hello. Anywhere? No problem? Anywhere. Okay. Oh, back on the refugee train. <laughs> the empty refugee train. There's no more refugees. I suppose everyone who's going to leave Ukraine or return to Ukraine has kind of done it already. And so it's just now a normal kind of empty train, not like last time, if you remember from the video. It was pretty packed. Now it's just me. 
a random Englishman trying to get into Ukraine. Let's see if I can do it. Bye bye, Hungary. And close enough. Well, we're back on the train to Chop, the one I took with Johnny four months ago. It's a lot quieter this time. As now we cross the bridge from Hungary back into Ukraine. Half an hour after leaving bloody Zachany, we're back in friggin' Zachany. Let me tell you what happened. Hello, my love. I don't read Ukrainian, but thank you. Let's grab a beer in some Zachony pub and decide what we're going to do. Oh, no beer? No beer? Yes, beer? Beer? This is Magyar? As Magyariga. Magyariga? One Magyariga, please. Mm. This one. Let's go. Kobanyai. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, you see, it's not too bad. You get kicked out of a country and you get a beer in another country. What a day, what a day. But let's improve it by having some Kobanyai, which might be the finest beer in all of Hungary. Who knows? Only one way to find out. Cheers. Probably not. So as I sip on my tin of Kobanyai, let me explain what happened. I arrived at customs in CHOP. They saw my passport and the lady disappeared into a back room. I heard some furtive talking. And then after about 20 minutes, she came back and she said, can you explain this please? Why is there a Russian visa in your passport? And I said, well, sometimes I go to Russia. And she said, well, we don't like Russian visas and people's passports. You're not coming in. I said, OK. And I jumped back on the train, the same train. And I got kicked out of Ukraine. <laughs> well, I don't know if I was kicked out because I wasn't even stamped in. I was refused entry. So um, back in Hungary, in the border town of Zahan, Zahani, deciding what to do. Is that the end of the blog? Well, I'm taking an executive decision. The vlog isn't over. We're in Hungary, for God's sakes. The country of the ancient Magyar tribes. Attila the Hun. Let's not end it here. Let's head to a random town in Hungary and see what happens. You never know. We can't end the vlog that quickly. Ow. Hello. One ticket, please, to Nirengiri. Nire Gaza. Nire Gaza. Nire Gaza? Huh? No passport. No passport. I have passport. You want passport? Me and passport. I can show you my passport. No, I know. Britain. Ah. If I was Ukrainian, it would be free. Yeah, I understand. Brits have got to pay for shit. Kata. Everyone else at the railway station is going to Budapest. But we're going to switch it up. We're not going to Budapest. Everyone's doing that. That's what you expected me to do. Go back to Budapest. No. We're going to go to a random town I've just chosen since it was on the board called Nirengaza. Let's go and check out Nirengaza in the middle of Hungary. See what it's like. Near in Gaza. Which train? Well, we've arrived in old bloody unpronounceable Nuringazi. 
let's find a place to stay and check out the town it might be awesome a little town in eastern Hungary whoa green light Whew, wow and look what we're greeted by the greatest shop in New Rengazi is called Diva Taru check it out old Diva Taru and look what you can buy you can buy Divatos Fell Socks and if you really want to buy some you're feeling crazy you can buy some Fehenemuks or Zokniks wow this is where you come if you want to buy your Zokniks I reckon those are Zokniks that's how you say hot pants in Hungarian Zokniks right anyway let's find a place to bloody dump the bag wash me face and then go and have a look at the centre see what it's like What is it? Wow. The skyscraper, it's a Soviet skyscraper. What is it? Bloody hell. Well, where is it then? Is this it? What the hell is this place? Rosuka Fizetto. Vende Glatto. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Just as well as no one answered. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello, I um, reserved a room on the internet. Mm. Sure. Vladimir. Vladimir? No, <laughs> Benjamin. Benjamin. <laughs> Vladimir. Huh? <laughs> One more choice. Edisaka. Edis. Edis. Wow, it's become here. Number nine. Emerete. 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 Hello. Hello. Hello, Yes? Oh, super. Thank you. Kosanam. Emerete. Wow. Ara. Ara means further on, I think. Ara. Okay. Six. Three. Four. Ah, ara ara. Yes. Wow. What a place. Seven, eight. Where she put me? Up on the top floor, away from everyone. Where's number nine? Oh, here we go. Let's check this place out. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> I like it. Check it out. This is what 20 bloody euros gets you in the flipping provinces of Hungary when you can't go to Ukraine because you've got a stamp from Russia in your flipping passport. Okay. This one. Ring, ring. No, no, no. No? Ah, okay, okay. Super, thank you very much. Course and on. Yo, bloody hell. That was a Hungarian babushka. Right then. Where's the centre of this godforsaken town in Hungary? Hmm. Who knows? Let's explore. Look what we discovered near the hotel. An empty plinth. Now, why is it empty? You know why, because before there would have been a Lenin here or a Stalin or some Hungarian communist apparatchik. But now the name, whoever it was, has been cemented over all the info and he's gone. Nothing left of the communist past in little old whatever this town is called. But instead they've got cloud nine women's wear. Check it out. 
What would you rather have, a Lenin or a Cloud9 women's wear? I know what I'd rather have in my town. Cloud9 women's wear, obviously. Silly. Check out the old Soviet communist Hungarian shop area. Check out the old sign. That is an old sign. That sign's been there since before 1990. And so have these products. What are they selling? Knives and shit. Wow. We can still find little traces of the past here in whatever this town is called. And look at the little sweet balconies. Look how they designed it with the pot plants. This is the most commonest street in all of this town, I'm sure. You can imagine before, the little Hungarian people walking up and down, buying their goulash and whatever else Hungarian Babrushkas bought back in Soviet times. Did that guy do something behind me? I bet he did. And here we can see an old flipping communist, an old communist little seating area. Like I said, the Babushkas and Jedushkas came down the stairs, sat on the flipping seat area, eating goulash together, saying words like Nurigal Kibarnok, and that's how it went back in communist times. Now it's empty, there's no one here. What a pity. Where's the Babushkas of this town? That's what I want to know. Where have they all gone? Here's one. Well, there's not much flipping action going on, is there, in this town on a flipping Thursday afternoon? It's absolutely dead. Thursday afternoon is about six o'clock in the evening, but still it's dead. Just some old buildings. And a babushka up there in the window. Hello. Hungarian babushka. Nothing else. Nothing else going on here. It's absolutely flipping dead. Well, I'm calling a premature and sad end to this video. The plan was to walk around the town and maybe go out for a few drinks and stuff, but my heart's not in it because of what happened today on the Ukrainian border. I thought next week we'd go and visit people and places we'd been to before. I thought we'd go and see Sergei from Ladan. I thought we'd go and see some of the village babushkas that me and Johnny met when we went looking for wives in the village. But um, yeah, obviously, due to circumstances that happened today, that's not gonna happen. Look, I even bought some bloody cash to hand out some Ukrainian babushkas in a village, but still. All right, that's the end. <sighs> Another lonely night in the um, provinces, but not the Ukrainian provinces for me, the old Hungarian provinces. So I'll see you guys somewhere, some other location in the future. In the words of the great Ben Maller, Adios, amigos.